Hey YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing absolutely great. I wanted to get on here real quick. I've been trying to upload a um, cooking video that we did yesterday and I've been having a terrible time with it. I put on a new program that I had heard was really good it's called uh, VLC Media Player. For whatever reason, it snagged my video that I was trying to do in Windows uh, with Windows Movie Maker. And it's just not user-friendly with me yet. So I'm having a terrible time. I tried to take it back over, and then it came out all jerky and voice kept coming and going it's all messed up so don't know guys I'm gonna keep trying I'm not a quitter anyway I wanted to uh, discuss something that I was reading in the news this morning heartbreaking absolutely heartbreaking article you know I don't know if I've gone from amused to amazed or from amazed to amused. I watched the uh, big football game. I didn't actually watch the game, but I watched how many people went out of their way and spent a lot of money to be at this game. It was amazing. If I was to guess, and I haven't actually looked it up, but I would guess easy, easy probably 120,000 people, 100,000 people. It had to be at least. And it blows my mind that if you just take my channel, and the messages that I'm trying so hard to get across. And you look at the small number of people that even get involved. It's kind of heartbreaking. You watch many channels where we're talking about the problems, the real, actual problems that we have. And you can't get people involved. You know, the internet is a tool. Granted, it's fun. And some people would say, well, they're, you know, it's not real. It's not real. What you see on YouTube isn't real. And there's a lot of fake. There certainly is. What happened in Fukushima? Daiichi. In March of 2011 is real. Not only is it real, but unlike that game, there is no end. There's no field goal. Do you guys understand that? This is a life changing, a world changing, event. It's going to change our entire world. You know, we have problems with radiation. Radiation is a poison. In any amount, it's a poison. And it's beyond toxic. I mean, I could, I could pick up a bottle of iodine and I could tell you, this is toxic. Because it is. But it can be used right. One of the uses for iodine pertains to radiation. It's to protect the thyroid. 
That's why back in World War II, or one, I forget, had to be World War II, after Hiroshima, they started making iodized salt, putting iodine in the salt to protect people's thyroid from atomic bombs. And yet, we get so caught up in the fun and the camaraderie of a football game. Woo woo, you know, go for your team. We have how many people in the world? 7.4 billion? What about that team? What about that team, guys? You can't get people involved in Fukushima. You can't, you know, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. It's not real, not real. Oh, it's real. Can't get people involved in GMOs. You are eating poison that causes tumors. Don't eat corn on the cob. Stay away from corn. Stay away from corn. You know, I, I let the cat out of the bag the other day. Something that I never talk about. In 2001, I had a very large tumor removed from the outside of my stomach. And uh, they found numerous ranging from the size of a pea to the size of a uh, grapefruit all through my system. Hundreds is what the doctor said. My favorite food in the whole world and all my growing up for years and years and years was that buttery corn on the cob. Of course, we didn't know how badly it had been uh, destroyed. And we should have known. My father went to school with somebody that worked with corn all the time, had his own factory. He was all part of the altering and changing and modifying. and So, people don't want to get involved with the GMOs. And yet we know that GMO food, GMO corn, causes tumors in mice. Yeah, funny. I still have tumors all through my body. But they're not cancerous. They're just tumors. The ones that I had inside, the ones on my stomach, they were dangerous. So they had to be removed. One was huge, massive. You guys remember that? Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember it. And yet you guys think that the GMO thing is a joke. It's not a joke, it's real. Can't get anybody to come together on that. Chemtrails. Ah, they're just contrails. And yet, numerous, numerous people have taken their cameras, looked up, and you can see the fallout. All this glistening, shiny particulates, poisons that are coming out of these clouds, man-made clouds. You look up in the sky, you don't have a sunshine anymore. You don't have, all you have is a blanket. And you think that's normal. But we can't get anybody to come together for the team that wants to stop this, this insanity. Can't get anybody to come together for a lying president. A man that stands right before you tells you one lie right after another. Lie, 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 lie. And yet Nixon was, boy, he was out of there. He was out of there for that lie. Watergate. Clinton, he was 
impeached out of there for a spot on a dress and telling a lie about it. No, I didn't do it. I didn't take the cookie out of the jar. And he was out. And yet this man can lie to you about your well-being, your future, your insurance, your health, and everything else. But nobody comes together for the team that's fighting it. What's it going to take, guys? And you know the funny thing? What does it cost you? to come together and find solutions, find answers. It's time for us to get real, to stand up. Where is our courage? Where's the bravery? My family's dying, and so is yours. But you don't get it. Let's root for the football game. Are you rooting for your family? Do you give a damn? I know you don't believe it's real. I forgot. I'm sorry. You think Fukushima was a joke. Do you know that the, the uh, shipping, the fishing boats went out? All summer. All freaking summer, people. And not one, not one sardine could they get. Not one sardine. None. You know those itty-bitty little sardine fish? little. That's the bottom of the food chain there, you know, the little sardine and a little bit bigger fish eats it. Little bit bigger fish eats that one. Little bit bigger fish eats that one. You know what I'm talking about, right? They're gone. Gone. Fukushima's dumping radiation into our Pacific Ocean at an astounding rate. And you're going to hear all these people that are mummed, these guys that are told by the president and whoever else, whoever is controlling him and anybody behind him and anybody around them and Congress and Senate, which are pieces of crap. They don't even stand up for the people. They're going to tell these people, get out there and tell them it's okay. Tell them it's okay. It's not okay, friends. No sardines. Bizarre disease is killing starfish. Bizarre disease is killing starfish. Starfish are dying. The beaches are covered with them. Their, their legs, you know, the five legs that starfish have, or what is it? How many legs do they have? I can't remember. Anyway, their legs are falling off and walking away from their bodies and then of course the starfish dies yeah let's see National Geographic seafood may be gone by 2048 I want you to think about that this uh, is a scary story. It actually came out in 2010. 2010. Seafood may be gone by the year 2048, study says. Now, I question how that story came out in 2010. What was going on then that we didn't know about? I'll put the links down below, by the way. Dead zone off. Oregon coast is growing, study says. A dead zone of low oxygen water has been appearing along the Oregon coast each summer since 2002. This also came out in 2010. Today, bizarre disease is killing starfish. Now this came out today, but they knew about it last summer. This is going to affect everything. The Pacific Ocean is full of a toxin that there is no cure for. There's nothing that'll get rid of it. <coughs> Excuse me. And yet, 
we can't get together and root for the team. The Pacific Ocean will become the, the new Dead Sea. You can't eat the tuna, bluefin tuna. But who'd want to eat fish anyway? Any seafood right now. Let us not forget BP. Oil disaster. Remember BP? They didn't stop the leak and it hasn't been cleaned up. Believe me. Go, go research. When are you people, all of you, everybody, and the ones that are working real hard, you know, the ones that are awake, the ones that know this is real, the ones that are trying to take a stand, they're, they're talking to you about it. Why aren't we getting together? There's hangouts. There's groups we could get together. Start working the groups together. And the groups and the groups and the groups and the groups. There's brilliant people out here. Let's find some answers. We need to clean up government. It's a mess. But we got to get together. I love you all. Great big hugs.